Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Now, these things happen because, let's get Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 real quick. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh, now, those things are hard to listen to. Right. It's hard to listen to those things. But I'm going to show you why these things happen. Right, my sister? All those things happen to us, but you have to ask yourself, why? Right. Why would God cause for the so-called white man to bring us on slave ships, have us shackled next to each other, a lot of us were vomiting on the ships, a lot of us were using a bathroom on the ships, and we couldn't move. Now check this out. Why would God cause that to happen? Let's get Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Watch. He's going to tell you. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Now, now, brothers, this is the Holy Bible we're reading. So if you have a Bible at home, let Abuelita know. Abuelita, in the Bible, Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Right? Let's keep reading. Watch. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now God says, if we didn't listen to what he said, watch, what, watch what's going to happen. To observe, to do all his commandments right. and his statutes which I command thee this day. If God said we were supposed to keep his laws, his statutes, and his commandments, and it says if we didn't do it, what was going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It says that curses. Now, would you think that God would really curse people? Yes, you're right, sis. God does curse people. Now, think about it. When you look at the condition of our community, because I live out here too, does it look like we're being blessed or we're being cursed? You sick in the middle? What about you, Playboy? What you think? That's a curse, right? What about you? I want to hear what you say. I want to hear you, man. Put the mask down. Just, just turn it down for, for a second. What do you think, when you look at our condition of our community, do you think we're being blessed right now or being cursed? Huh? It looks like we're being cursed, right? What you think? Cursed, right? You said half, but you, what you think? Cursed, right? Now, the Bible says, watch, it's going to show you why we're being cursed. Let's get verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now the Bible says our sons and daughters will be given unto another people. Like for example, what is your last name? Almonte. Almonte. What's your last name? Huh? What? Chris, that's your last name? Now check this out. A lot of our people have last names, but we don't even know where they come from. Right. A lot of us have last names that go back to Spain, or they go back to French, the French, or it goes back to the Dutch. But are we Dutch? So what is that letting you know? That means that we were owned by people with those same last names. Right. Can you believe that? There was a time, that's heavy, right? So think about it. So if you were, if your last name was Saint Pierre, that means you were on the plantation of Saint Pierre. Right. If your name was Lambert, you were on the plantation of Master Lambert. Right. It's it's that simple. But a lot of people don't. Why, why do you? Why do a lot of people don't want to talk about this? Because you want to know something. A lot of our parents will say, Hey, I know that happened, but we shouldn't talk about that. Why do our Why do our parents say things like that? You know? Uh, you. Come on, play. Come on, play. I know you got the answers, man. Huh? I can't hear you. You know? What about you? Why do 
our parents don't like to talk about things like this. Because think about it. Sister right there, you were in the back. How long did they say we were in chains for? About how many years? A lot of years, right? That's about 200 years, they say. More than that. How can we not talk about 200 years of history? Right. That's 200 years of history that we're not talking about. Bring it up. That's a lot of years. So we got what we got to say? It's actually 400 plus years. So four, look at that, 400 plus years. 400 plus years that we're not talking about. Because think about this. While we were in chains, yeah, while we were in chains and shackles, did we get paid for it? Did we get paid for being in slavery? But did we make a lot of money for this country? Did we get any money back? We got no money back. So think about this. Let's say you work at the Golden Crest over here, right? And you don't gotta, they don't have to pay you nothing. Think about how much money they're gonna get. Right. How much money they're gonna get. Right. How much money they're gonna get over years and years. I'm gonna have a Golden Crest empire by the time I'm done. And that's what happened here. Right. By them having us in slavery and making money over us for free. Free slave labor, they were able to go across all the world and conquer and conquer and destroy. Do you want to see how that's why you gotta see how important you are? While we were in the slave on the slave ship and on the cotton field, picking cotton for free, they were out there conquering all these different nations. That's why in all these different countries, you say, damn, there's a US embassy in Iraq. There's a U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan. There's a U.S. Embassy all over the world. Why? Because they use our slave labor to conquer the world. Why? Huh? Absolutely not. You, that's a great question, what you said. You said, should we feel good about that? You should not feel good about that. Because a lot of our foremothers and forefathers, they were killed serving this country. Like, perfect example, on Monday, do you guys have off on Monday? Are you off on Monday? Because there's a so-called holiday gonna be celebrated on Monday. What is it? What do you say? Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. Now, was Christopher Columbus a good man, a righteous man? You said no. Why you say no? Was Christopher Columbus a righteous man? Was he the, was, did he come to give us the knowledge of Jesus Christ? What did he do? Yo, no, the, why you say he's a bad man? Maybe he's a good man. I don't know. We have a, we, you get a whole day off on Columbus Day. Maybe he's a good man. There's no homework on Monday, right? You get to go home, play Xbox, you know, get on the live, you know what I'm saying? Yo, bro, I got the Gatwick, you know, I got the, you know what I'm saying? I got all the weapons, let's, let's get it, right? So are we, all, so is Columbus, was he a good man? Playboy, I always gotta ask you. Playboy, was Columbus a good man? This is history. Was he a good man? Why you say hell no? We got a Columbus circle in Manhattan. Bring it out. Right? We got what? We got a big statue of Columbus in Puerto Rico. He's standing like this. It's 82, so let me say something. Yes, sir. Christopher Columbus and the conquistadors killed more people than Hitler. Killed more Hispanics and Indians than Hitler. Right? Damn. Bring it out. <laughs> so check this out. Think about that. A lot of us are celebrating. Think about this. How many people did they say died in the Holocaust? Six million. Six million. Now, the Holocaust of our people, they said about 77 million Native Americans were killed during the process of ex ex exploration. Bring of it the up. Bring it up. When you walk around the earth, do you see Jewish people in, no. in New York? No. Do you see them? Like, do you see white people calling themselves Jewish? With the hats and the black? Do you see any Native Americans walking around? Think about that. Now think about that. So, how is it? A lot of our viewers, they say, never forget the Holocaust, never forget the Holocaust, right? But what about the Holocaust that we went through, right? What about the Holocaust that we went through? 77 million of our Native brothers and sisters were killed. And you know what we do too? Our favorite holiday comes right after. When we get the cranberry sauce. Bring it out. Mom make the lasagna. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? We get the, the turkey. We get the with the, the turkey with the jerk seasoning on it. Make it feel nuts, right? You know what I'm saying? So check this out. Check this out. Does the Bible say, think about it. We're 
celebrating a holiday of a man who murdered people. Right. Who killed people. Right. Why are you sitting at the table saying, damn, mom hooked it up today. You she hooked it up. You eating food that was made for a man who killed all these people. Right. Now think about it. Does God say that's okay? Think about it. Would God say it's okay to celebrate a holiday, celebrating a man who killed all these people? Watch this. All these holidays are pagan holidays. They're pagan holidays. Excellent. Now, I want you guys to think. Let's get Exodus 20 real quick. Let's get Exodus 20. Because remember, the reason why I want you guys to understand is this. They said Christopher Columbus came with the Bible. He came with the Bible to the Dominican Republic. He came to the Bible with Puerto in Puerto Rico. He came with the Bible. So when he came with the Bible, and he says, you know what? I want to teach you guys about Jesus Christ. Was he really teaching all people about Jesus Christ? How do you know? We say, okay, come, 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 come. Oh, no, 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 I heard what you say. I just didn't hear you speak. I didn't hear you, that's all. No, but check this out. The reason why I want to show you this is because in the Bible, are we allowed to kill people? In the Bible, if you have, you see those shoes? I like those shoes right here. Can I just go home and say, you know what? Oh, you got Tim's on. I like Tim. Can I go and take your Tim's and say, you know what? I discovered these Tim's. These are my Tim's now. I discovered these Tim's on October 11th, 2020. Those are my Tim's now. Is that, is that, can I do that? Is that right? They call it Manifest Destiny, right? Well, I want to show you. Let's get Exodus 20 now, son. You know what I mean, right? That's the Let's go. I want to show you what the Bible says we're not supposed to do. Yeah, right. We watch it. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 15. Bring it out. Thou shalt not steal. The Bible says, thou shalt not steal. So, we're celebrating Christopher Columbus. Did he not steal this country? So, isn't that against what the Bible says? Now, check this out. Let's read the next verse. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Now, the Bible says, thou shalt not bear false witness. Now, since you listen. Columbus, right? He says he discovered this place. Is that true? Did Christopher Columbus discover this place? Now check this out too. Check this out too. Check this out. It says he discovered this place. And when he discovered this place, he says that you, Native Americans, you guys are called savages. Does God call us savages? Does God what? Now you guys think you're about to go. But I gotta let you guys know something. You young men, you guys have a great responsibility. I know a lot of us like to run around as these little women. We want to just do what we want to do. I see what y'all do. I see what y'all do. A lot of us don't realize that there's more important things for us to be doing. You understand? Because think about this. A lot of us come from single parent households. A lot of us come from single parent households. And you want to know how we stop those things? By us keeping God's commandments. Because think about this. You guys have grandparents, right? You have grandma, right? With grandma disrespectful to grandpa? Did grandma say, hey nigga, here's your dinner? Shut the hell up. Is that what grandpa grandma did? Yes. Grandma, well, check this out. In the Bible, it talks about how we're supposed to deal with our brothers and our sisters. Because are we supposed to have girlfriends in the Bible? Is it, are we, is it okay to have girlfriends in the Bible? Our sisters can have boyfriends in the Bible? Let's get that real quick. Let's get Leviticus 19. I want Leviticus 19, 29. Because the Bible talks about these things. Because a lot of us get into relationships after relationships, and it doesn't last. And then you know what? We go to the next woman, we go to the next man, and you want to know what happens? A lot of our sisters are hurt. They get broke, right? They get married. No, 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 no. We said that's how you get married. To get married. Yes! Excellent! We're supposed to get married! God says the black... The excellent, brother! Brother with the Tim's! My brother with the Tim's on! I knew New York got some flavor, man! I knew! But check this out! In the Bible, our sisters and our brothers are supposed to be married, right, sis? Because think about it! A lot of our brothers and sisters get hooked up in these relationships, and they're not serious! I kind of, I call you one time, I text you another day, you know, I'm looking at your phone, I see you ringing, I see you calling me, but I'm not going to pick it up. We play these little games, but marriage is serious. Watch this, I want to show you why, watch. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. Right Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Now my sister, check this out. In the Bible, and my brother, 
other two. It talks about how we stop the whoredom in our community. It starts with the not prostituting our daughters, our sisters, which is the black woman and the Hispanic woman. Let's read that again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whore. Because you want to know something? Us, by prostituting our daughters, our sisters, you see a lot, of, you see all sorts of things on the news that we're not paying attention to. A lot of our black women, our black sisters, are coming up missing. Wow. A lot of our sisters are coming up missing. Why? Why are our sisters coming up missing? It starts with us learning how to deal as men with our sisters. Because think about this. You have a mother? Our sisters don't just be outside like this. Too much acting crazy. You think about this. Our, our sister, my sister right there. My sister right there, right there with the, with the hoodie on. And my brother right there too. Can I ask you a question real quick? Do you have daughters? You have no, do you have children? Yeah, one. Now can I ask you a question? As a father, do you see how a lot of our sisters act today? Is it right? And I want you to be honest. Speak plain. Do you see how a lot of our sisters act today? Is it right? No. What you say? No. Why you say no? Thank you. Let's get some honesty now. Let's get some honesty. Is it okay the way our sisters act? You say no. Why? Attitude. Attitude? Let's get Proverbs 7. You said attitude? What else? I know you see. Judgment. Judgment? Okay. What else? Okay, that's it. Are you, I wanna, are you married to her? No. Okay. A lot of our brothers seem to not want to marry our sisters. About to. Okay, excellent, excellent. All praises. Now check this out. A lot of our brothers don't want to marry our sisters because they see the spirit they have. They're rude, they're disrespectful. The way they talk to you, it's like, damn, I'm not going to go back and work for the white man if you're going to talk to me like this. Let me go back to the white man and go to work. If you're going to talk no. to me like this, damn. Get a white woman. Yeah, that's another thing that we do. We run to the white woman because they think they're more submissive, they're more docile, they're not going to talk to you. Wait, brother, am I talking, am I talking out my behind on uh, uh, facts? Now check this out. A lot of you too, you listen, 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 listen. Let's get Hebrews 13 and 4. Answer my back, get my son, stick with stick with This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 10. And behold, the man of a woman with the attire of an harlot. Now one thing God has a problem with our sisters for is the way that they dress. A lot of times the way our sisters dress, they reveal their shape. Right. And the first thing a brother's thinking about is what? What? The first thing a brother's thinking about is sex. Right. That should not be the first thing on a brother's mind. Because what? We're trying to build a nation. So one thing God says, our women are not supposed to dress like this. Read it again. Proverbs 7 and verse 10. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. So God says that you can know a woman by the way she dresses because a woman's not supposed to have all her, her breasts out. Her, you're not supposed to see all that. Right. The way that she behaves. Let's keep reading. And subtle of heart. And subtle of heart. Keep reading. She is low and stubborn. And the Bible says a lot of our sisters are loud and stubborn. Because think about it. A lot of the way our sisters talk and deal with brothers, you like, damn, where has, where's the home training? Because you want to know what's training them? TV. You want to know who's training them? Media. The media. Cardi B is training a lot of our sisters. Cardi B is training our sisters. Nicki Minaj is training our sisters. What's the other one? Kim Kardashian is training our sisters. Megan Thee Stallion is training our sisters. But the Holy Bible is supposed to train our sisters right. on how to act. Right. Let's keep reading. Right, my brother? Let's keep reading. We're going to get into this. Keep reading. She is low and stubborn. Right. Her feet abide not in her house. And the Bible says her feet abide not in her house. And these are things that are important. A lot of us think that, damn, why are these brothers getting on me on the street corner? These things are important for our sisters to know. All right, let me say something. Go to Leviticus 21 and 7. Go there real quick. Watch this, brothers. Brothers, watch this. This is heavy. This is, this is what marriage was. A priest. This is what the guidelines of a priest. Read verse 7. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 7. They shall not take a wife that is a whore. You hear that? Read that verse again. They shall not take a wife that is a whore. What does that mean? I'm sorry. What does that mean? Explain, brother, explain it. Say it on the mic. You shouldn't deal with a whore. It's not simple. What's a whore? A woman that have the Jezebel spirit. 
That's I, I don't even know what that means. You went you went left field on me. I know who Jezebel is, but you're not speaking plain. What is a what is a whore? What is the definition of a whore? A whore doesn't have respect for herself. But what, what does what does she do? She sleeps around with different dudes. That's a whore. We call that a thought today, right? Read that verse again. Leviticus 21 and verse 7. They shall not take a wife that is a whore. So the priest was not allowed to do that. Or profane. Profane woman. That's another name of a whore. A witch. A witch. It could have been a witch. Neither shall they take a woman put away from her husband. Meaning a divorced woman is not supposed to marry another dude. She's supposed to stay with her man. For he is holy unto his God. Wait a minute. So the Mosai says you're holy when you don't deal with hoes. Bring it up. You understand? That's what we keep telling brothers. Stop sleeping around with a lot of women. Right. You have one wife. A lot of brothers is messed up already because a lot of them was molested when they was kids by the wife, by a woman. Excuse me. A lot of young men is messed up in their mind. So read that verse again. They shall not take a wife that is a whore or profane. Neither shall they take a woman put away from her husband. For he is holy unto his God. You hear that? So that's what the, mo the most high says. Some of us have daughters that's already hoes already. Sad to say it, but it is what it is. Some of you got to talk the truth. A lot, of, a lot of, what is a lot of our young girls are doing? Twerking and all of that on Instagram and all that foolishness. So when you are young, so when you are a man, that's the woman you don't, you stay away from. Those are the women you stay away from. They don't watch, a lot of them watch the ass. They you stay away from some of them, I'm telling you. Go ahead, Seth. So think about this. Remember this. A lot of us, you want to know what happened to us? Get first Corinthians 15, 33. Because TV has made it cute to be a hoe for sisters. Right. On TV, TV has made it cute. It or like it's, it's a cute thing to be a hoe. Like, but it's not cute to be a hoe. Because I want to show you. Let's get 15, 30. Read this real quick. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. What does that mean? It says evil communications corrupt good manners. What does that mean? Evil communications corrupt good manners. What is that talking about? What does that mean? I'm going to read it for you one more time. Check this out. Be not deceived. Evil communications oh. corrupt good manners. So the Bible says evil communications corrupt our good manners. So, what does that talk about? Influence. Excellent. What are you saying? In excellent. A lot of our people, a lot of our sisters are watching TV and it's influencing them to think that if I don't have the biggest butt, if I don't have the biggest butt, I'm not doing it. If I don't have the biggest breast, I'm not doing it. You know, the Bible tells you that evil communications corrupt good manners. We get it up. It's promoting these things to our sisters, and we gotta change these things. Let's read it again. This is heavy. This is very heavy. Can read it. First Corinthians 15, verse 33. This is, this is heavy. I know a lot of us, I know you guys got the stink, I see it, but think about it. The Bible talks about how the, our sisters are supposed to deal. Because a lot of us get caught up in the ways of the world. Right. The fashion of the world. Right. right. A lot of us get caught up in it. Let's, I'm gonna show you. Watch, watch, read. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So God says we're supposed to have good manners. But on the TV, we got Cardi B talking about whack. We got Megan Thee Stallion talking about these things. Now, maybe not all you sisters, I'm not saying that, but a lot of our sisters are doing it. A lot of our sisters are getting caught up in these things. Aren't they? You see what's going on in the TV. Pick it up. Let's be real. Let's talk real. Let's keep reading. Awake to righteousness huh? and sin not. The Bible says for us to awake to righteousness and sin not because we're tired of our sisters being known for being hoes. Right. We're tired of our sisters being known for committing the most abortions. Right. We're tired of these things because we, we, we want to change that. Right. We want to change the image of the so-called black woman into the righteous woman of God. That's but right. That's the purpose of the Israelite man. The purpose of the Israelite man is to lead his household in righteousness. Right. That's right. That's Read it. Be not deceived. 
corrupt good manners. So the evil communication is coming from the TV or Instagram. And brother, right there, what you got to understand is this. We have a job to do right. as men. Right. Look at 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. We have a job to do as men. And our sisters do too. The elder sisters cannot go on just watching our sisters be hoes and think it's okay. Bring it out. You, the older sisters, got a job too. Right. Proverbs Read that. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So who we follow is Jesus Christ. Right. Jesus Christ says that the head, the black, the, the black Messiah, Jesus Christ says, right. we're supposed to follow him in all things. Let's keep reading. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. So the head of the so-called of the woman is the black man. We get up. And she's supposed to follow him in righteousness. Right. You're supposed to follow the man in righteousness. But a lot of us are following men to Hennessy. A lot of our women are following men into the club. A lot of our we Molly Percocet, Percocet, Molly Percocet. We following that crap. But God says you're supposed to follow a righteous man. Right, brother? Right. You see what's going on in the community. My brother right there with the red shoes on. My brother, and you too. What you guys got to understand is this. Let's read that one more time. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. Right, my sister, can I ask you a question? As an elder sister, do you like the way our sisters are acting in these last days? But that's your job. Get tired of you. That's your job as an elder sister. Yo, in the Bible, it talks about how our sisters are supposed to conduct ourselves as elders. Where's the elder sister who's supposed to tell our sister, hey, you know what? It's not good to sleep around with all these men. Right. A lot of these men are niggas. Right. A lot of these men, all they do is just want the box. Jesus. They got diseases. All they do is they just want the boom boom. And when they get it, what they doing? They out. Right? Ain't that what right. happens since you laughing? Bring Ain't that what happened? You ain't talking facts. What happens is that a lot of our brothers, they get and dip. They get the drawers and they out. Right. We're trying to tell you, the Bible says we're not supposed to do those things. Right. We're supposed to have our sisters be married. Right. Let's get Titus 2. Let's read that. Bring it out. That's right. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. My sister right there with the yellow right there. My sister, can I ask you a question? The Bible says the way our sisters, our elder sisters, are supposed to deal, is supposed to teach our sisters right. Keep reading. The aged woman likewise, that they be that they be in be, look. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Pops, question. Are you a married man, Pops? You have kids? Now check this out. When you say you have kids, real quick, when you have kids, don't you have a destination for them that you want them to go? We have just the Bible has destinations for our people to go, but if we're not following the proper way, we end up in places where we get hurt. God is trying to protect our brothers and our sisters from being hurt. Right. But our sisters think, damn, I'm tired of this brother talking. We're gonna keep going though, because the Bible says that we should not cease night or day. Right. We are not going to stop teaching God's word night and day. Right. Let's keep reading. The aged women likewise, that they be, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. So our elder sisters can't be hoes either. Right. Our elder sisters, God teach the younger sister, it's not okay to be a hoe. It's not okay to be a hoe in the last days. Bring it out. Let's keep reading. Uh, not false accusers. Not false accusers. Meaning a lot of our sisters, what they do, they talk. We keep talking, we, we gossip, that's the word. A lot of our sisters gossip. God says our sisters are not supposed to be gossipers. Keep reading. Not given to much wine. Fighting in the street. A lot of our sisters said, you know, let me get the Vaseline, hold my earrings, let's, let's get the, let's shoot the fog real quick. Let's get the heady real quick. Our, our sisters said, our, the Bible says our sisters are not supposed to be like that. Let's keep reading. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. Keep reading. That they may teach the young women to be sober. To teach our young sisters to be sober. To love their husbands. To love their husbands. Now think about this. God is trying to bring us back as a nation. 
can we come as a nation if our brothers are crazy as hell and our sisters are crazy as hell? So what should we do to get our minds right? Come back to the Lord, man. Come back to the excellent. Come back to the Lord's. Like perfect example. Let's get Deuteronomy 22 and 5. This is a perfect example of what God says we got to do. Because think about it. As a man, are we supposed to be able to take care of our family? How do we do that? How do we take care of our family? As a man, how are we supposed to take care of our family? I would say teaching and providing. Teaching and providing, right? And what are we supposed to be teaching our, our family? What are we supposed to be teaching? What are we supposed to be teaching our family? Because if we don't teach it, because think about it, if we don't teach our family, other people are going to teach them. Right. You understand that? If we're not teaching each other the right things, the world is going to teach us the wrong things. Right. Right? It's common sense. There's two forces in the world, good or evil. Right. Which side are you going to be on? Are you going to be on the evil side or the good side? You want to be on God's side, who's a black man with white woolly hair? Or are you going to be on the wicked side, the bad side, which is this image right here? Right. The so-called white man saying that Jesus Christ is a white man, which is not true. Right. The Bible says that. Let's keep, let's go back to, let's get Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Watch this, watch. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, one thing we got to teach our kids is, it's okay as for me as a man to put on a dress and heels and walk down the street. Is it okay for me to do that? No. It's not okay to do, is that okay for me to do that? Fire. For, you said fire for that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.